My name is Tony Helmholt. I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I'm 22 years old. Well, the story is uh, about two years ago, I started riding uh, my buddy's Yamaha motorcycle, which was gas. And uh, ever since then, uh, I got addicted to motorcycles, and I was always into any type of alternative fuel. And I thought, how could I mix the two? And that's how I mixed the two. I started with a 1975 Yamaha RD250, and uh, I got it for $100, and everything worked on it. It's just a blown motor, so perfect frame. Well, the motor is a, a Mars E-Tech uh, RT motor, and uh, it produces approximately 20 to 25 horsepower, depending on the power you're putting into it. And we got five Odyssey racing batteries that produce 12 volts each for 60 volts total. Top speed today, I topped it out at 78 miles an hour out in the straightaway. Range-wise, if I'm really hard on it, I can get about a little under 10 miles on it. If I'm light on it, I can get almost 30. Coolest part, uh, definitely just all the fabrication, you know. I mean, getting everything to fit properly, getting it all to work, and you know, that's, that's definitely the best part, I think, in my book. And seeing it all work when you're done. Reactions, nothing but positive. I gotta be honest, I, ex I, I expected maybe a few negative people here, but you know, everybody's been welcome and, and very optimistic about electric motorcycles, so it's been quite an experience. I do have another project in the works right now. Um, it's in its very early stages, but uh, I'm, more, I'm thinking about putting electric motors in both wheels. I just graduated recently from uh, Grand Rapids Community College with an automotive technology degree. And since then I've been working at uh, uh, O'Neill's Transmission, a small automatic transmission rebuilding shop. No, there's no transmission on this bike at all. It's a direct drive, so, so it's actually, there's very little um, other than the two gears and that's it. So I kind of like driving something that I don't have to fix every day. I, I love the attention because you know people like, people like looking at this kind of stuff. They like seeing the high-tech future of what their, what their sport is doing, you know, so. I honestly think uh, electric power is definitely, definitely feasible. Uh, the Zero guys have helped to prove that too. On the motocross course with their electric dirt bike, they could beat several 250 and 350 cc motorcycles out there. So there's definitely a competition here. It's no, no longer a little uh, moped.